and, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. Completing the hardware is a crucial step for Tesla Optimus to adapt to and effectively handle a wide range of household tasks. Precision in design allows the robot to operate smoothly, saving users both time and effort. So, how will the improved design enhance Optimus's performance? Before we begin, please help us reach 8,900 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How does the power supply system of Tesla's Optimus work? Tesla is currently using its familiar 4,680 battery cell to power the Optimus robot, but not everyone agrees that this is the most optimal choice for a humanoid robot. While the robot's body is large enough to accommodate these oversized battery cells, achieving the necessary voltage level around 48 volts requires Optimus to use about 90 cells. Tesla has revealed that the total battery capacity is 2.3 kilowatt hours, which is enough for the robot to operate continuously for 12 hours in a home environment. From walking around the kitchen and cleaning the living room, to assisting in child or elderly care. After 12 hours, Optimus can autonomously return to a home charging station to recharge. The charging time is just about one hour, after which it can resume work. Since it is a robot, it doesn't need rest like humans and can operate all day as long as it's recharged in time. Tesla chose the 48 volt level because it's considered safe for human interaction. Higher voltages could be dangerous in close contact environments. However, to ensure stable operation and provide redundancy in case some cells fail, Optimus will likely require a modular battery system dividing the battery into multiple 48 volt packs, connected in parallel. This approach boosts power output, improves replaceability, and is safer in case one module encounters an issue. With the 4680 cell offering around 26 amp hours, using two 48 volt modules, is enough to reach the 2.3 kilowatt hour total. If smaller cells like the 2170, around five amp hours, were used instead, about 10 modules would be needed, making the system more complex, taking up more space and increasing costs. Therefore, using large cells like the 4680 remains a sensible solution, especially since Tesla has full control over large scale production at Giga, Nevada. Inside the factory, Optimus will face much more demanding tasks than home cleaning such as lifting heavy objects, tightening bolts, and inspecting components so the battery will drain faster. However, thanks to fast charging technology, it only takes about 30 minutes for the robot to recharge enough to resume a shift. Tesla may also implement a rotation model. While one group of Optimus units is working, another group recharges ensuring the production line runs without interruption. Another interesting aspect is that Tesla may be integrating a regenerative energy system. This means when the robot lowers an object or moves slowly, some excess energy can be recovered and fed back into the battery. This helps extend the operating time without increasing battery size. Moreover, Optimus's battery management system is integrated with AI. That means the robot can adjust its power consumption depending on the task using less energy for light tasks and ramping up output for heavier ones. This is a major differentiator compared to rivals like Figure AI or Boston Dynamics, which still rely on traditional battery systems. In the future, Tesla may also experiment with solid-state batteries for next-generation robots. These batteries are smaller, lighter, store more energy, and generate less heat. If that happens, Optimus could operate twice as long without adding weight extremely beneficial for industrial or service environments. In summary, although there is still some debate around using 4,680 cells for Optimus, given Tesla's long-term strategy and in-house battery production capabilities, this is a technically sound and cost-effective move. Once again, please help us reach 8,900 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What changes have been made to Optimus's charging system? At first, many assumed that Optimus would share the same charging system as Tesla's electric vehicles like the Model 3 or Cybertruck. However, reality turned out to be completely different. In the testing video released by Tesla, Optimus is shown using a dedicated charging station minimalist in design and highly mechanical in nature. Interestingly, when the battery level drops to 15%, 
the robot proactively stops working. The LED light on its head turns red as a warning signal, and it automatically activates its navigation system to seek out the nearest charging dock. What surprises many is the location of the charging port. It's on the back, not on the side or near the legs as previously speculated. This means Optimus must rely entirely on its cameras and visual sensors to precisely locate the charger and align its body so the charging connector can dock accurately, a process that must be both fast and gentle to avoid damaging the port. Tesla clearly put a lot of effort into this aspect, as even a misalignment of just a few millimeters could prevent the robot from charging or cause wear on the connector. Once fully charged, the LED turns green signaling that the robot is ready to resume its tasks. Optimus then autonomously unplugs and continues working without any human intervention. This entire process happens automatically, as if a diligent employee knows exactly when to take a break and when to return to work. One particularly unique feature of the charging system is that it's not just a stream of electricity flowing in. It's controlled by finely tuned algorithms that adjust the current based on the time of day, battery temperature, and even the robot's usage history. Thanks to this, Optimus can charge quickly, without degrading battery lifespan, while always maintaining stable performance when it returns to work. This self-charging mechanism is reminiscent of the plug-and-charge system used in Tesla's CyberCab models, but it has now been adapted for humanoid robots, a major leap in flexibility. Imagine a home or factory where Optimus roams freely, locating chargers whether embedded in a living room wall or tucked away in a factory corner, and recharging itself as naturally as a human grabbing a drink of water after tiring. Even further, Optimus's system goes beyond smart charging. It enables shared learning. Just like people exchange messages in a group chat, every time an Optimus learns something from avoiding an obstacle to optimizing movement in tight spaces, that knowledge is synchronized across the entire robot fleet. This means every Optimus improves together without each needing to learn from scratch. Thanks to this group learning capability, if one Optimus in the Texas factory encounters an unfamiliar situation and solves it just minutes later, an Optimus in Berlin or Shanghai will know how to handle it too. Tesla refers to this as collective learning, a form of decentralized AI with rapid cross-updating ability. At present, only Tesla can execute this at such a large scale because it owns the full stack, computing infrastructure, hardware, and real-world data. The ability to share movement maps, reflex behaviors, and even job-specific tricks means Optimus is not just a robot that works, it's a living part of a continuously learning ecosystem. This becomes especially valuable when Tesla deploys thousands of these robots across factories, where each Optimus has its own role but operates in harmony with the rest like a well-synchronized team. In a real-world scenario, one could imagine hundreds of Optimus robots working in shifts unfazed by breaks, fatigue, or emotional lapses. Whenever energy is low, a robot silently retreats to the rear, while another steps up to take its place ensuring the production cycle never breaks. As a result, productivity could increase dozens or even hundreds of times compared to traditional labor models. All of this happens in silence, with order, and with astonishing precision. The charging system data conic and self-adjusting capabilities of Optimus are not merely technological upgrades. They form the backbone of Tesla's vision for a fully autonomous robot workforce. This marks the beginning of a new era in automation, where machines don't just perform tasks they learn, adapt, and evolve as part of a dynamic living network. How does Optimus Gen 3 communicate with humans? One of the most significant upgrades in Optimus Gen 3 is its ability to communicate via voice, a feature confirmed by Elon Musk for the new version. This marks a major leap from Optimus Gen 2, which operated silently with limited interaction. With storytelling capabilities, advice giving, and casual conversation, the robot becomes not only easier to control, but also closer to being a genuine companion in everyday life something most robots on the market today have yet to achieve. Optimus Gen 3 is equipped with a 7-inch touchscreen on its torso, providing an intuitive interactive interface. Its voice control system supports up to 15 languages and features a speech recognition accuracy of 95%, along with gesture analysis, capability reaching 90%,
enabling it to comprehend body language as well. This is particularly useful in home or healthcare settings, where understanding a user's intentions both verbal and nonverbal is crucial. This gives Optimus a clear edge over competitors like Figure AI or Digit, which emphasize locomotion but lack depth in human interaction and communication. Beyond simply understanding and responding, Optimus Gen 3 can adapt its behavior to individual users through integrated AI models. This allows the robot to adjust its tone, attitude, and speech style based on the user's age, circumstances, and emotional state. For the elderly, it can speak in a calm, soothing tone, remind them to take medication, or share nostalgic stories. For children, it can be lively and playful, telling fairy tales or interacting as a learning and play companion. This level of personalization far surpasses platforms like Alexa or Google Assistant, positioning Tesla as a pioneer in the personal interactive robot space. This adaptability makes Optimus an ideal choice for households, where it can act not only as a support tool but also as a companion, caregiver, and even emotional therapist. With rapidly aging populations, especially in developed countries, the need for empathetic, supportive, and communicative devices is growing. Optimus can help the elderly monitor their health proactively, deliver timely reminders, and ease loneliness by providing someone to talk to. For children, it can serve as a learning assistant and playmate, opening up vast potential in interactive education. Compared to its current competitors, Optimus Gen 3 is clearly ahead thanks to the seamless integration of hardware, software, and artificial intelligence. Figure A Eyes Figure 01 has achieved walking and object handling capabilities, but lacks a voice communication or behavioral system. Boston Dynamics Atlas impresses with complex mobility, but it doesn't focus on human communication or emotional understanding. Even service robots like SoftBank's Pepper, though capable of basic conversation, remain limited to simple responses and cannot tailor behavior to individual users. Tesla, on the other hand, leverages its immense AI training ecosystem from billions of kilometers of autonomous driving data to home cameras, smart devices, and image recognition technology to build a robotic platform that understands and learns more like a human than any competitor. Optimus Gen 3 is not merely a communication robot. It also serves as the control hub of a smart home. Integrated with the Tesla home ecosystem, the robot can connect with and control lighting, air conditioning, door locks, curtains, heating systems, security cameras, and even power wall energy storage units. This turns Optimus into a context-aware smart butler, automatically closing windows when it rains, opening curtains at sunrise, or issuing alerts when unfamiliar individuals are detected. This holistic vision far exceeds that of current rivals which mostly focus on movement or isolated reactions. From a socioeconomic perspective, the arrival of Optimus Gen 3 signals a transformative shift in how humans approach labor and caregiving. If Tesla can produce 10,000 units annually and gradually reduce the cost to below $20,000 per unit, then deploying just a few million units could establish a trillion-dollar robot industry. In sectors like healthcare, education, retail, and in-home services, a robot capable of intelligent communication, emotional awareness, and task efficiency would significantly reshape labor structures, especially in countries facing labor shortages. More than just a command receiver, Optimus Gen 3 introduces a new level of human-robot interaction. It becomes a digital companion, listening, sharing, empathizing, and assisting based on deeply personalized needs. This makes it especially suited for high-touch applications like psychological therapy, autism support, or care for people with disabilities fields that demand nuanced, emotionally rich interaction, which most existing robots cannot provide. In practical daily use, Optimus Gen 3's flexible communication ability also enhances its effectiveness in household tasks. While mopping floors, doing laundry or cooking, the robot can chat, take new commands, or respond to changes in real time. For example, if a user asks it to switch tasks or retrieve something from the fridge while it's cleaning, 
the robot can immediately comply without requiring the user to pause or give manual instructions. Its gesture recognition also allows it to understand hand signals such as stop, redirect, or assist with carrying heavy items offering a natural and seamless interactive experience. This capability also reduces the user's need to supervise. The robot can report progress via voice or on its touchscreen, keeping the user informed without manual checking. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.